fractions. Are we ready to learn about fractions today? I want you to put on your thinking caps and get ready to learn something new. A fraction is something that shows you part of a whole. What does that mean? A fraction is when you share a number, object, food or something equally between someone or something. Mmm, yum, says Seiko. A whole pizza, says Amelie. Amelie. Can you see the yummy pizza in the middle? I'm going to eat this whole pizza, says Seiko. No, we have to share, says Amelie. How would we share a whole pizza? Hmm, let's think. I know by doing a fraction. Now what on earth is a fraction? Think. Hmm. Let's look at the pizza. This is one whole pizza. If I want to share it between two people, I will have to do what? Yes, cut it in half. Share it. Now let's see what happens if I share it. Do you see the yellow line? Mrs. Mitchell just cut the pizza in half. Now let's see what the pizza will look like when it's just one half. Look at that. We cut the pizza in half so I can give Siseko and Amelia each a piece of pizza. What would a half look like? The number, let's see. Wow, that is the number name for the word half when we use fractions. There is Siseko and Amelia. Here we go, Siseko. A half for you and Amelia. A half for Amelia. Mm -hmm. They're going to enjoy their pizza now. So Siseko got one half. Amelia got one half. The number name for one half is one over two. And again, for Amelia's half also looks the same. One over two. So they shared one whole pizza and they made it into two pieces. Let's look at how we make a fraction. One whole looks like this. One whole pizza. But then if I want to use a fraction dividing it in half, it will look like this. One half there's my second one half. How many pieces have I made the one hole into? Can you count? Yes, two. Very good. Now let's just look at the one half. When I have to write it in a number name, it's going to look like this. It's one, a line in the middle, at the bottom, two. That is called a half number name. Now let's look at the next slide what it means. Half, one over two. The one means how many parts we talking about. So we have one whole pizza. One. The two means the total number of parts we shared it in. We used a fraction to share it. So it's two pieces of pizza. So it's one whole pizza made into a fraction, halved it into two pieces. So one over two gives me a half. Very good. Let's see if we can half other things. A cupcake. Here is one whole cupcake. Mm, how delicious. I want to share my cupcake in half. 
Do you see? I shared my cupcake in half. What will it look like? Here is the one half of the cupcake. Here is the other half of the cupcake. How many pieces did I divide the cupcake into? Very good. Two pieces. So I've got one whole and two halves. So what would the fraction look like for half a cupcake? Very good. It will be one over two. And one over two means what? Yes, half. That number name means half. Very good. Let's try one more. One whole apple. Divided in half. Do you see my yellow line through the apple? Now we're going to cut the apple in half. What is it going to look like? One half of the apple. And here's the second half of the apple. How many halves are there? Very good. There are two halves. What would the fraction look like for half an apple? Good. Half. One over two. So remember, it's one whole apple made into a fraction of two halves. So it's one over two. Very good. I hope you understood. Let's see what else we can do. Can we half shapes? Yes, we can. And it's actually very easy. Let's have a look. What shape is this? Can you tell me? Very good. It's a square. Now, can we divide a square in half? Yes, we can. Let's have a look. There is my square divided in half. The yellow was a hole. And then I cut in half, so I've got a purple half and a yellow half. Good. Next, we've got a diamond. Can we cut a diamond in half? Yes, we can. Let's have a look. Cut my diamond in half. How many, how many diamonds do I have now? Oh, sorry, how many pieces of diamond do I have now? I've got two. So my one diamond cut in half, I've got two pieces. Let's divide the next one. It's a triangle. Can we half a triangle? Yes, we can. What does it look like? Very good. So we have now two pieces of the triangle. The triangle is cut in half. Now we have two pieces. Very good. Fun activity. Do you have an apple or orange at home? can actually be any other fruit as well. Can you ask an adult to help you cut it in half, like Mrs. Mitchell did? You can even make a sandwich and cut your sandwich in half. And did you know the sandwich is a shape? It is a square. You can cut a square in half. The next one. Draw a square, circle, and triangle on a piece of paper. Color in one half of the shape and cut it out. So we're going to color in one half of the shape and cut it out. Then I want you to write the number name half on each half of your shape. Enjoy. And be careful when cutting your fruit.